Shut up and sit down. Yo, 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 people, welcome back to another Hardware Review, and we are back with Geek Vape. Yes, we're taking a look at the Aegis Boost Pro. Now, we've had the Boost, we've had the Boost Plus, and now we have got the Pro. It's got some updates. It's got a different pod. It's got some new coils. It's got different airflow, and they've even updated the chipset. Yes, it goes all the way up to 100 watts. So... Let's get this review on the road. So, the Aegis Boost Pro Kit. Now, I did actually buy one of these um, a couple of weeks back um, to actually review from one of my fellow reviewers. Um, so, I have been testing it, but this one actually got sent out from Geek Vape as well, which is good. This is the one I've been testing. So, uh, Geek Vape sent me this one out. So, this is actually the retail packaging. This is the one that would have been sent out to the reviewers. Um, so we can have a little look at the retail packaging. So on the front, it does tell you that it is the Aegis. It is um, six mil pod, hundred watts. This is the Aurora Glow. You can get um, an RDTA section for this, and also a five ten connector. These are sold separately. I haven't actually got them, so that's the front. Just keep vape stuff on the side. On the back. You've got everything that it is, IP67, bomb proof and all that, all the stuff you can get, all the contents of the packaging. You've got your hologram and your scratch and sniff, all your kite marks don't vape in a bin. Normal sort of uh, geek vape packaging. Open it up. Slowly, Hayden. <laughs> I don't think I could have got any slower doing that. And there it is. This is the Aurora Glow. We'll have a little close look. We'll have a look what we get in the packaging. Take that out. You get your um, Geek Vape card. What's actually in here? A load of bump, your warnings and, and stuff like that. Your warranty card. You get your manual. Make sure you give that a good old read. Inside what we got. Your box of goodies. You get a spare drip tip and your tool. You get your silicon jelly thing. You get your coils. You'll get another coil in there. And there's already a pre-installed coil, I would imagine. There we go. And your USB type C charging cable and firmware upgrade. Now obviously you've got the boost and you've got the boost plus. There is a difference, and it's all down to the pod and the airflow, and also it's got a different chip in it. This one's got a 100 watt chip. The other one only went up to um, 40 watts. Obviously, this is an 18650. So let's have a look at the pod. As you'll be able to see the little button there, just give that a press, and it just pops it off that simple. Let me just zoom in a touchy little bit more so you can see this pod. Now, one of the major differences between the actual Boost and the Boost Plus is the pod itself. They've changed the drip tip, they've upgraded the airflow, and they've changed the coils. It's also a 6mm pod. Now, the Boost and the Boost Plus pods fit on the Pro, but the Pro doesn't fit on the Boost and the Boost Plus. Very, very simple to say. Now, the drip tip itself is an 810 drip tip. Like I said, they have changed it. Now, it is like a helmet. You don't normally get a helmet in a review. So it sort of fits over the top of the rim. You can interchange it with a normal 810 drip tip, but just make sure it's the, an 810 drip tip with the O-rings. This mouthpiece is very, very comfortable, and you do get two of them. It is a top fill. And as you'll be able to see, there's that little um, arrow, and it's pointing down to there. So when I first got this, I was like trying to open it that way. It doesn't. It opens that way. So they're meaning to go like that. So I would really turn that around. Because I don't think you don't actually get a spare one of these uh, rubber bungs. So what you do there is just open it up like that. That's your filling port. I've had no problems with that at all. No airlocks, no nothing like that. Just push that down. Now the airflow itself, they've upgraded it. Now 
it doesn't lock off, it just spins round, so you can just adjust it like that. Just adjust it. <laughs> and then it goes around like that, so you can uh, adjust your airflow. Now, we did tell you that they have changed the coils. Now, this is the P-series coils, um, a 0 0.20 mesh coil. That's best between 60 and 70 watts, and it is canthal. You also get a 0 0.24 ohms. That's mesh, best between 50 and 60 watt, and that is canthal. Now, to get these coils out, we'll have a little look at them in a minute. You've got your little tool. Only thing you've got to do, like so and then just pop it out. I'll say that and we won't be able to pop it out. And then it just pops out like that. Now to, to refit it, one thing you'll do, if you look, you've got the little grooves either side and on the coil itself, you've got a flat edge and another flat edge on that side. Just marry them up like so, and then you just push it down and it fits in that simple. There we go. Now the coils, just let you have a little look at the difference of them. This is the new P series coils. A lot, lot bigger than, than the uh, normal boost coils. This is the 0 0.4 ohm. And this is the normal boost coils. And you can see the size difference. Both of them are really, really good coils. So this pod comes with the kit, but you can also get an RDTA as well, and you can also get a 510 adapter. I never actually got them to review, but I'll just stick a little photograph up so you can see. So you can get a 510 adapter and also an RDTA. So that's roughly the pod. So if you have a little look at the top of the mod, you've got your contacts there, and that's where it clips in and your airflow sits in there. So very easy, just marry it up, put it in, and just pushes in like that. That simple. I really do like the look of this. I'm not really into like rainbow, or these call it Aurora Glow, but I really do like the look of it. I've been using the black one. Bit of pink stitch in there and a bit of orange on there. Remember, you can change the, the leather on these, so get yourself over to Aegis Custom or Custom Aegis Skins on Instagram. It's hooked on funk, and you can change these. And they do look really good. He's got loads of designs, so you can put your own on there. It is IP67, bomb proof, waterproof, lob it at the wall proof, everything proof. Also, it has got Type-C charging, which it hasn't had before. Normally, it's just micro USB, but we have got Type-C charging. I would recommend that you do charge it, uh, your batteries externally. But if you are caught on the go, you've got Type-C charging and firmware upgrade. You've got that nice rubber feel all the way around. It's got that Aegis feel to it. You've got your um, zinc alloy around there. Like I said, you've got your leather. Fits lovely and comfortable in your hand. Really does, I do like it. And I, like I said, I, I'm quite into this uh, sort of rainbowy color to it. So if you have a little look at the front of the mod, you've got your fire button, you've got your nice big screen, your plus and your minus. Five clicks on, five clicks off. Gets you into the menu. You've got your battery indicator, you've got what mode you've got it in, you've got your lock icon, and you've also got your wattage. Now your wattage goes up in 0 0.5 watt increments if you just press it in like that. But if you hold it in, it goes in one watt increments all the way up to 100 watts. And then it will round robin to five watts. You've then got your ohms, you've got your resistance, you've got your voltage, and you've got your counter. Now it's a puff counter, but when you hold it in, it shows you how many seconds you've had a puff for. So you, as you can see, it goes back to puff counter and then back to seconds. Now, if you hold the plus and the minus button in together, sorry, you have to hold them in together, Aiden. It will lock the device and you'll be able to see that that changes color, the little icon. Hold it in again, unlocks it, and that goes back to green. Now, if you press the fire button and the plus or the minus button, it changes the brightness of the screen, which I think is a corking idea. Saves on battery. Now to get into the menu, one, two, three. You'll see that it's highlighted. You've got your temperature control stainless steel. You've got your T, uh, T, TC, TCR. You've got your VPC, which is your curves. You've got your bypass, and then it'll take you back to power. Now if you press it when it's back onto power, you can lock your ohms, and you can also clear your puff counter. Goes back to power, just hold it in, and that's selected.
So that was a little look around the Aegis Boost Pro. Now when the Boost came out and the Boost Plus, I never got them in for review or I never bought them in for review. Now I have done the Aegis Hero, uh, so do check that out, that is down in the playlist. So I've tasted, um, tasted the flavour from the Boost Coils. And I really did like the flavour, really decent clouds as well, especially at low wattage. Now, one of my mates, uh, reviewers, had a spare kit, so I bought the spare kit off of him a couple of weeks ago, because I really wanted to review the Pro. They've upgraded the coils, as you've seen, to the P-Series. They've upgraded some other little bits and bobs, instead of it being 40 watts, it's 100 watts, so I really wanted to review it. But I was lucky enough that Geek Vape actually sent me one in as well. Now, I hope I made this, this clear, actually, in the down low. Now, the Boost and the Boost Plus fit, the pods fit the Pro, but the Pro Pod doesn't fit the Boost or the Boost Plus. Something to do with the actual connections. So let's go top to bottom like we normally do. We'll start off with the pod itself. 810 drip tip, it's like a little helmet. <laughs> so it's nice to get a helmet in a review. Sort of sits over the top of it. It is an 810, like I said, so you can interchange it. If you have got your own 810, it needs to be the ones with the O-rings round. Sits in really nice, nice and comfortable. They have changed that from the other, uh, the Boost and the Boost uh, Plus. That, that was more like a duck build sort of shape. So this one's round and you do get two of them. It's a top fill. Now, I did show you as well, the arrows sort of going the wrong way. I started picking at that for a little while. So yeah, you have to go from the top. No problem filling this. No airlocks, um, no leaking or anything. I've had no leaking from the pod at all. Six mil capacity. That is some capacity in it. Six mil capacity. They have changed the airflow as well. Again, you can dial it in. It goes all the way around. If I'm honest, I have it wide open. I haven't really dialed it in. I've tried it, but I have it wide open. I do like quite an airy vape. They've got a new set of coils. They have got the P series coils. You get a 0.2 and a 0.4. They're saying it's for bigger clouds and better flavor. I really do like the Boost coils. I really do. When I tried them in the Hero, really good flavor. Is these any difference? Well, let's give it a bit of a vape and see what I think. Coming out at 70 watts, uh, this is the 2 ohm coil. Clouds for days and the flavour is absolutely corking. They are saying this is best between 60 and 70 watts and the 0.4 is best between 50 and 60 watts. Now, the only thing I'm going to tell you is, obviously, it's an 18650, goes all the way up to 100 watts. If you've got a single 18650 and you are vaping at the top whack, which is 70 watts, you're not going to get very much battery life out of it. It obviously makes sense. But I can't fault the flavour and I can't fault the clouds. The device itself has got that familiar look of the Aegis. It's IP67, it's bomb proof, you can lob it at the wall proof, explosion proof, all that sort of proof. So I do like the feel of it, I do like the look of it, it's something familiar. Also I did tell you about the custom age of skins, make sure you get yourself over to Instagram, you can take the leather bit off of it and put your own design on there. And he's got his own designs that you can actually get him, he's a really nice bloke as well, so get yourself over there. Normal sort of battery doors you saw, no jankiness, the, the actual threads are really, really nice. Now the screen has changed, it is a really nice vibrant screen. It's a very, very simple menu, you've got everything that you want on there. I, did, I didn't actually tell you, when you do lock the device you can still fire it. Um, but yeah, all in all, I really do like it. And you can't beat the clouds and you can't beat the flavour from it. Now, you can also get a 510 connection. I never got the suitcase one. Um, I never got the suitcase one where you got everything in it. So you can get a 510 adapter and you can also get um, an RDTA to it. The RDTA, I think they had a little bit of problems with the top cap fitting on there with the O-rings. Uh, but I think they've sorted that all out. They did say as well uh, that the actual on the pod for the RDTA, you can't change uh, the airflow is fixed. So it's wide open on this side and you've got the airflow at the top. So it's really, really airy. But obviously I've not been able to test that so I can't really tell you. 
Um, type C charging. It's the first time of any of their devices or the boost devices that have actually used Type C charging. I do recommend that you use uh, an external battery charger, but it is Type C charging. If you caught on the go, I quite like that. And firmware upgrade. I really do like it. I really do like it. I like the feel of it as well. Ergonomical in your hand, people. You have to fit it in. Ergonomical in your hand. Really do like these P-Series coils, and they're going to be in devices down the road as well. One thing I would say, I would have liked to have seen this instead of an 18650, I would have liked to have seen it as a 21700. With that 100 watts, with an 18650 and you're running this, say, at top whack, 70 watts, you're not going to get very much battery life. But apart from that, I really do like it. Well, this has been another review for a by Little Bro. Big shout out to Geek Vape for sending this out for review. You know how to do it, people. If you've liked the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share the subscribe buttons in the corner. Give it all press again to that new magic number. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, people. Go and hit me up. Also, if you want to join the madness that is Little Bro, and you want to support the channel, go to my Patreon. Yes, support the channel. You get your name at the front, like all them wonderful, lovely people. Extra videos, first looks, all that good stuff. So if you want to support the channel, join the Patreon down in the descriptions. One last thing to say, people. Keep them juices flowing. Don't forget to check out my latest video. Also, don't forget to check out Three Men and a Vape Show live at 8 p.m. every Wednesday. And also, if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe, ring that notification bell, and we'll catch you later.